Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the things you need to do after you have arrived in Australia. We have also released a video on the things you need to do before arriving in Australia. Link is in the description below. First and foremost, you will need to ensure that you arrive a week before your scheduled orientation and enrollment. This way you will allow yourself enough time to prepare for your studies. If you are new to our channel, let us tell you that we provide expert advice to international students who are planning to make Australia their study destination. Our information is based on extensive research, knowledge and experiences and we are committed to creating a responsible student community. If you like the information we provide, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's talk about the things you need to do after you have arrived in Australia. The first thing you need to do is call your family to inform them about your safe arrival. 2. Purchase a phone and SIM card so that you get connected to everyone. If you already have a phone, purchase a SIM card. 3. Familiarize yourself with public transport. Melbourne has three modes of public transport. Trains, trams, and buses. You will need to purchase your smart card ticket called My Key Card and top up or add value as required. My Key is your ticket to travel on trains, tram, and buses in Melbourne and many parts of regional Victoria. Similarly in Sydney, it's called Opal Card. Opal Cards are smart card tickets that you keep, top up and reuse to pay for travel on public transport. Simply add value to your Opal Card then tap on and tap off to pay your fares on metro, trains, buses, ferries and light rail, anywhere within the Opal network. 4. Download important apps like Google Maps, Uber, PTV for Melbourne Transport and Sydney Transport for Sydney, etc. 5. Arrange permanent accommodation. If you have already arranged permanent accommodation before arrival, that's great. If you have arranged temporary accommodation, you will need to explore permanent accommodation options. For more information on how to find accommodation, please watch our video, link is in the description below. 6. Order your OSHC membership card. To do so, go to the OSHC provider website and follow the instructions. 7. Most importantly, you will need to attend orientation and enroll yourself into the course. Every university can have different process and requirements. You will need to ensure you follow the process of your university. Attending orientation will allow you to build your network and make friends. 8. Collect your student ID as it works as your ID document. 9. Apply for your tax file number called TFN so that you are ready to start your part-time work. Check out the link in the description below on how to apply for TFN. And 10. Open your bank account. There are four big banks in Australia. ANZ, Commonwealth, Westpac, and NAB. You should be able to open your account with your confirmation of enrollment or student ID card. That's it for now friends. We will be back soon with some new information. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe.